good morning and welcome to our Wednesday morning uh, worship uh, from the uh, ministry team at uh, St Peter and St John Kirkley, Lowestoft in Suffolk. And I'll introduce the team. We have um, Barry Moore, we've got Trevor Dawes, we've got myself, Rain Light. Joining us today is, um, is John Everton and of course um, the very vital um, Helen Chandler, the Reverend Helen Chandler. So good morning to everybody. Um, we hope that um, you're, you're joining us live, but, but if not, I'm sure we're, we're equally as wonderful um, via Facebook. Thank you. And now let us put some minds as we prepare for worship. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The Lord be with you. And also with you. Alleluia. Christ is risen. Almighty God, to whom all hearts are open, all desires known, and from whom no secrets are hidden, cleanse the thoughts of our hearts by the inspiration of your Holy Spirit, that we may perfectly love you and worthily magnify your holy name. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. God so loved the world that he gave his only son, Jesus Christ, to save us from our sins, to be our advocate in heaven and to bring us to eternal life. So let us confess our sins in penitence and faith, firmly resolve to keep God's commandments and to live in love and peace with all. You raise the dead to life in the spirit. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. You bring pardon and peace to the broken in heart. Christ, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. You make one by your spirit the torn and divided. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. And may the God of power and love forgive us and free us from our sins, heal and strengthen us by the Holy Spirit, and raise us to new life in Christ our Lord. Amen. Let us pray. O oh God, the strength of all those who put their trust in you, mercifully accept our prayers and because through the weakness of our mortal nature, we can do no good thing without you. Grant us the help of your grace, that in the keeping of your commandments, we may please you both in will and deed. Through Jesus Christ, your Son, our Lord, who is alive and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, now and forever. Amen. Amen. A reading from the second book of Kings. 
Now, when the Lord was about to take Elijah up to heaven by a whirlwind, Elijah and Elisha were on their way from Gigal. Then Elijah said to him, Stay here, for the Lord has sent me to the Jordan. But he said, As the Lord lives, and as you yourself live, I will not leave you. So the two of them went on. Fifty men of the company of prophets also went and stood at some distance from them, as they both were standing by the Jordan. Then Elijah took his mantle and rolled it up and struck the water. The water was parted to the one side and to the other until the two of them crossed on dry ground. When they had crossed, Elijah said to Elisha, Tell me what I, what I may do for you before I am taken from you. Elisha said, Please let me inherit a double share of your spirit. He responded, You have asked a hard thing. Yet, if you see me as I, am, as I am being taken from you, it will be granted you. If not, it will not. As they continued walking and talking, a chariot of fire and horses of fire separated the two of them, and Elijah ascended in a whirlwind into heaven. Elisha kept watching and crying out, Father, Father, the chariot of Israel and its horsemen. But when he could no longer see him, he grasped his own clothes and tore them in two pieces. He picked up the mantle of Elijah that had fallen from him and went back and stood on the bank of the Jordan. He took the mantle of Elijah that had fallen from him and struck the water, saying, Where is the Lord, the God of Elijah? When he had struck the water, the water was parted to the one side and to the other, and Elisha went over. For the word of the Lord, thanks, thanks be to God. Psalm 31 Blessed be the Lord, for he has wondrously shown his steadfast love to me when I was beset as a city under the siege. I had said in my alarm, I am driven far from your sight, but you heard my supplications when I cried out to you for help. Love the Lord, all you his saints. The Lord preserves the faithful, but abundantly repays the one who acts haughtily. Be strong and let your heart take courage, all you who wait for the Lord. The Lord be with you. And also with you. Hear the Gospel of our Lord Jesus Christ according to Saint Matthew. Glory to you, O Lord. Jesus said, Beware of practicing your party before others in order to be seen by them. For then you have no reward from your Father in heaven. So whenever you give alms, do not sound a trumpet before you as the hypocrites do in the synagogue and in the streets, so that they may be praised by others. Truly, I tell you, they have received their reward. But when you give alms, do not let your left hand know what your right hand is doing, so that your alms may be done in secret, and your father who sees in secret will reward you. And whenever you pray, do not be like the hypocrites, for they love to stand and pray in the synagogue and at the street corners, so that they may be seen by others. Truly, I tell you, they have received their reward. But whenever you pray, go into your room and shut the door and pray to your father who is in secret, and your father who sees in secret will reward you. 
And whenever you fast, do not look dismal like the hypocrites, for they disfigure their faces so as to show others that they are fasting. Truly I tell you, they have received their reward. But when you fast, put oil on your head and wash your face so that your fasting may not be seen by others, but by your Father who is in secret. And your Father who is in secret will reward you. This is the Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, O Christ. In the words of my mouth, the meditation of our hearts, but accept in my sight, O Lord, our strength and our Redeemer. Amen. It's been our practice for some time now that um, on a, a Wednesday, I've kind of reflected a little bit on the Gospel. And it, it's not a sermon or homily that I prepare. It's just kind of what really strikes me in the time that I usually read it beforehand um, and also as I read it now. And what came to me earlier was this whole thing about praying um, and worshipping God in secret through this time of lockdown in the coronavirus period. Because, um, you know, we can't go to church and be there with all our, with all our colleagues and, and have people see who's there and see who's not there and see who prays with their eyes closed and see who prays with their eyes open and um, who crosses themselves and who doesn't. You know, it really, I don't know about you, but it's a time for bringing us to reflect far more deeply, maybe, on our faith. That our faith is way beyond uh, the being in church on Sunday, indeed way beyond simply our private prayer. And faith is very much in how we live our lives. So I'm just going to leave you with a pondering and a reflection. So how has your faith deepened through this time of worshipping very differently, of responding to life very differently, and just experiencing the changes that have been happening and how we have actually engaged with those changes. How has that transformed us and how has it transformed our faith? So if you have some reflections on that, please do feel free to add a note um, in the comments below if it's something that you feel you feel called to share. In Jesus' name. Amen. And now we come to our time of prayer. In the power of the Spirit and in union with Christ, let us pray to the Father. Gracious God, as we gather here this morning, rested after a night's sleep, we pray for your church. Christ's body in the world. We pray for its peace. We pray to work towards Christian unity. We pray for its mission. Not our mission, but your mission. From our calendar of prayer, we pray today in the Anglican Communion for the Diocese of Nyasa in Southern America, in Southern Africa, for their Bishop Vincenta Mossa, also for the Diocese of Altera, Polynesia, for their Bishop Don Tamihe. Within our own diocese, we pray for the King's Inn Group, for their clergy, Becca, and for their readers, Joyce, 
Nigel and David. We pray too for our church here in Kirkley. For Helen and all in leadership roles. Lord, hear us. Lord, graciously hear us. As we open our, curtain, open our eyes and our curtains and look out of our window at your creation, we pray for the world. A world in places so beautiful and in other places so disrespected. We pray that the resources which you have provided may be used in such a way that damage is minimised and our enjoyment can be maximised. Lord, hear us. Lord, graciously hear us. We pray for our communities, each represented here by us, for our families, our friends and our neighbours, for the new freedoms which have been of us to be able to meet with others who we may not have seen for months. May the love that we pour out stem from your love of us. Lord, hear us. Lord, graciously hear us. We pray for those who are unwell, those known to us, whether at home or in hospital, for those who care for them. In a moment of silence, we name before the Lord those known to us who suffer. Also, if it is your practice and you would like somebody prayed for, please write their first name only in the comments box. Lay your healing hand upon them and be with them in their struggles. Lord, hear us. Lord, graciously hear us. We pray for those who have died, for those whose faith was known publicly, and for those whose faith was known only to you. Be with those who mourn, comfort the brokenhearted, support them in the tough days ahead. and grant to those departed eternal rest. Lord, hear us. Lord, graciously hear us. Almighty God, to whom our needs are known before we ask, grant us the courage to ask what accords with your will and also those things which we dare not ask out loud. Give us faith to ask, knowing that they will be heard. Merciful Father, accept these prayers for the sake of your Son, our Saviour, Jesus Christ. Amen. Jesus said, my peace I give you, my peace I leave with you. The peace of the Lord be always with you. And also with you. 
to share a sign of peace with each other. And our practice here is to write peace in the comments below. Yours, Lord, is the greatness, the power, the splendor, and the majesty, for everything in heaven and on earth is yours. All things come from you, and of your own do we give you. The Lord be with you. And also with you. Lift up your hearts. We lift them to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right to give thanks and praise. It is indeed right. It is our duty and our joy at all times and in all places to give you thanks and praise, Holy Father, Heavenly King, Almighty and Eternal God, through Jesus Christ, your Son, our Lord. Therefore, with angels and archangels and with all the company of heaven, we proclaim your great and glorious name, forever praising you and saying, Holy, Holy, Holy. Holy Lord, God of power and might, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. Accept our praises, Heavenly Father, through your Son, our Saviour, Jesus Christ. And as we follow his example and obey his command, Grant that by the power of your Holy Spirit, that these gifts of bread and wine may be to us, his body and his blood. Who in the same night that he was betrayed, took bread and gave you thanks. He broke it and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take, eat, this is my body which is given for you. Do this in remembrance of me. In the same way, after supper, he took the cup and gave you thanks. He gave it to them, saying, Drink this, all of you. This is my blood of the new covenant, which is shed for you and for many, for the forgiveness of sins. Do this as often as you drink it in remembrance of me. Therefore, Heavenly Father, we remember his offering of himself made once upon the cross. We proclaim his mighty resurrection and glorious ascension. We look for, his, for the coming of your kingdom and with this bread and this cup, we make the memorial of Christ, your son, our Lord. Christ is the bread of life. When we eat this bread and drink this cup, we proclaim your death, Lord Jesus, until you come in glory. Accept through him, our great high priest, priest, this sacrifice of thanks and praise, 
and as we eat and drink these holy gifts in the presence of your divine majesty, renew us by your spirit, inspire us with your love, and unite us in the body of your Son, Jesus Christ, our Lord. Through him and with him and in him, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, with St. Peter, St. John, St. Matthew, and all who stand before you in heaven and earth, we worship you, Father Almighty, in songs of everlasting praise. Blessing and honour and glory and power be yours for ever and ever. Amen. And now, let us pray with confidence as our Father has taught us. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, the power, and the glory, for ever and ever. Amen. We break this bread to share in the body of Christ. Though we are many, we are one body, because we all share in one bread. Lamb of God, you take away the sin of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sin of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sin of the world, grant us. My brothers and sisters in Christ, these are God's holy gifts for God's holy people. Jesus Christ is holy. Jesus Christ is Lord to the glory of God the Father. This is the blood of Christ shed for all. Amen. Thanks be to you, Lord Jesus Christ, for all the benefits you have given us, for all the pains and insults you have borne for us. Since we cannot now receive you sacramentally, we ask you to come spiritually into our hearts, O most merciful Redeemer, friend and brother. May we know you more clearly, love you more dearly, and follow you more nearly, day by day. Amen. Let us pray. Eternal Father, we thank you for nourishing us with these heavenly gifts. May our communion strengthen us in faith, build us up in hope, and make us grow in love for the sake of Jesus Christ, our Lord. Amen. Almighty God. We thank, thank you for feeding us with the body and blood of your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him we offer you our souls and bodies to be a living sacrifice. Send us out in the power of your Spirit to live and work 
to your praise and glory. Amen. And the peace of God, which passes all understanding, keep your hearts and minds in the knowledge and love of God and of his Son, Jesus Christ our Lord. And the blessing of God Almighty, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit be with you now and remain with you always. Amen. Amen. Now, let us go in peace to love and serve the Lord. In the name of Christ. Amen.